Bakit patuloy na nakararanas ang bansa ng malaking bilang ng mga nasasawi at napipinsala dahil sa mga kalamidad sa kabila ng agresibong pagsisikap ng gobyerno at mga stakeholders sa pagtugon sa isyong ito? Paano kung tama naman ang impormasyon ngunit may pagkaantala sa paghahatid nito? Paano kung mayroon kang tamang impormasyon ngunit hindi ito madaling maunawaan? Ang mga tanong na ito ay maaaring i-apply sa iba't ibang mga sitwasyon. Ngunit sa konteksto ng kalamidad, ang mga resulta ng iyong mga desisyon ay maaaring makapagdulot ng pinsala. While accurate and timely information is very much needed to lessen and mitigate the effects of hazards and disasters to ourselves, to our community, and to our environment, it must also be accessible and understandable especially to our public servants and media partners who have the capacity to inform the public better. With that, The Project on Meteorological and Geological Hazard Advisories, Warnings and Notifications for Decisive Action or Project Maganda is created. Because of the continuing improvement in monitoring, hazards and risk assessment, and information and communications technology, the DOST and the DILG recognize the need to continue educating the local government units, including local officials, disaster managers and responders, as well as the media on the latest hazard information systems and warning messages. It is a grant and aid project under the Department of Science and Technology or DOST. With DOST pag as the lead implementing agency and our co-implementing agencies are the DOST PBOX and DOST ACII. It is being monitored by DOST Fisher. Project Maganda is a follow-up initiative to the 2014's Iba na ang Panahon, Science for Safer Communities or ENAP is for SC, that aims to help our local government units and media partners to understand the different types of natural hazards and disasters. The DILG, LGA, LGUs, and media partners are the target beneficiaries and stakeholders of this new project. The total project cost of Maghanda is about 27 million plus, with 26 million from the USTGA fund and 1 million from Pagasa as our counterpart. Key to appropriate preparedness and response would be clear understanding of the hazards and potential impacts of an area, clear warning and alert messages, and appropriate responses at various levels from individual, family, community, and local and national governments. However, Scientists and technical experts can easily be carried away with all the jargons and technical terms which can result to the common people and the targeted audience to be left out under-informed. The overall objective of the project is to provide a clearer understanding of warning messages from our frontline science agencies Pag-asa and PBOX to facilitate better response action among LGUs and the general public. It also has three specific objectives, namely to capacitate our LGUs, the RRMOs, MLGOs, local info officers, and the RR first responders, including uniformed personnel, PNP and BFP, or Bureau of Fire Protection, in understanding warning messages for enhanced response actions. And number two is to capacitate media practitioners in understanding warning messages for enhanced news reporting and information dissemination. And number three is to develop policy recommendations for the DILG and the LGUs to use as basis for updating their local DRR plans. The expected outcomes of the Project Maganda are as follows. Number one, will inform and responsive LGUs, DRRMOs, MLGOOs, first responders, info officers, and media on hazards information for a safer community and much resilient nation. Familiarity on terminologies and jargons used by science agencies for accurate news write-ups from the local info officers and media practitioners. And finally, as outputs of this project or deliverables of this project includes 28 training sessions for 17 regions for local chief executives, governors, and mayors, and seven for media practitioners. A learning management system for online virtual learning and development intended for our LGUs and media practitioners and updated IAC materials to be used as reference and for future use on info drives and others. Publish guidelines or recommendations for policy improvements for LGUs to aid in updating their local DRR plans. Through the Maghanda project, we hope to bridge the information gap through effective science communication. It is through an improved understanding of the hazards and the risks that we can develop and implement appropriate disaster risk reduction and management measures. Tamang kaalaman para sa tamang kahandaan. Maghanda para sa ligtas na Pilipinas.